Previously on Solstice at Sunrise. We have a slight change of plans. The plan was to come to Athens and visit our first national park outside of the United States. Unfortunately, the weather did not cooperate with us this week, so we've canceled those plans. And we're gonna head to a new country on Monday, but it's also a new continent. While eating McDonald's in our Bucharest Airbnb, we booked a $12 round trip flight to Aqaba, Jordan, our first Middle East country. The plan for the first two nights in Jordan was to stay in a desert camp with the Bedouin people of Wadi Rum. All we knew was to take a taxi from the Aqaba airport to the entrance of Wadi Rum and our host Awad would meet us there. Thank you. It feels so good out. I don't know what I expected, but we're here. It's been uh, it's been quite easy actually. It's not not too bad. I'm actually impressed. Most people speak English. We got cash. All we have to do is find a taxi to get to Wadi Rum. This is one of the nicest airports that we've been to. Very small, Very small. but just the check-in process was so smooth and organized. Hi. Um. Yeah, we need to go to Wadi Rum Village. Okay. I'm celebrating my birthday here. You will feel it, you will touch it. How long you will stay here? Um, five days. Five days, five days. you yeah. will feel it, you will touch it. The job the enemy was very friendly. Friendly. Don't be scared from the Jordanian. Absolutely. No, no, absolutely. Wherever you go, you are in safety hands. Wherever you go. At any time you are welcome. Be my guest next time. Okay. With my family. That would be great. I would really. love that. Yes, I mean it. This this area to run. What you run? We have driven for about an hour. We have to stop at the visitor center to get an entrance pass. It's five JD per person, and this taxi ride is gonna be about 40 JD also. We're almost there. We getting back? Yeah. Look, it's inside, you know. Oh. Inside? Okay. Yeah, inside is better. I'm gonna keep this bag. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you very much. So our taxi driver drove us all the way past the visitor center and got us all the way here. Woo! We've met up with our host. He's gonna take us to his house for some tea, and then we're gonna go to the desert camp. Although nothing has been nearly as cheap as we expected it to be, this has been the coolest like morning it's not even day it's 11 right 11 it's 11 o'clock and this has been the best two hours this is the greatest thing ever Grab the tea and come back. <laughs> Welcome to Jordan. Thank you. 
and tomorrow tomorrow if you, if you can you can make short trip mm -hmm. after that i will take it for the camel writing mm -hmm. and you will write camel before the sunset i'm excited for the, the camels i don't think we uh, have never seen camels or ridden a camel you don't yeah. ever oh. they don't really in america you may see one in a zoo yeah, yeah. um but that's it living around here how old were you when you first rode a camel i mean really? it's, yeah Okay. Ten, yeah. ten okay. years old, mm -hmm. same that. Ten years, I think. I think before ten years, you know. Yeah. Yeah, before t seven years old, mm -hmm. I will uh, guide tour for the camel. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's, seven That's years amazing. Old. Yeah. Huh. Our host's name is Awad, and we just enjoyed some tea with him, and now he's gonna go grab some lunch for us. When I was first looking at the money, I was like, uh, I can't read the numbers. You have to flip it over. Numbers on the back, not both sides. But at first I was a little concerned, like, oh no, I just don't even know what denomination these are. But just gotta flip it over. Look how pretty this is. If you really can go. Yeah? Okay. I guess we're heading into the desert oh. to enjoy our lunch. My, uh, what did you forget? My plug. Sorry. I wish I could show you guys the amount of times he forgets things. I'm gonna need that. Yep. I'm holding on this time. Learned. About bounced out on the last ride. It was not until we were on our flight and about to land that I finally realized, how are we supposed to eat for the next two days? We don't have food to bring with us into the desert. Thankfully, they do provide it, just an extra charge for lunch and dinner, but breakfast is included. The carvings on these rocks were a road map of the desert used over 2,000 years ago. The map showed destinations as far away as Syria and explained where resources could be found, such as food and water, in the vast desert. Given the importance of water in the desert, the information on these rocks were vital to travelers in ancient times. We've seen a couple dozen different camps. I think some are more expensive than others. I'm happy we chose the one we did. I think we're going up there. I think we are too. My fear of heights is gonna get tested again. We are now climbing up small power. doing this in sandals. <laughs> this isn't so bad. You gotta climb to the top, of course. This is... I just can't even. <laughs> wow. The less research, the more fun you're going to have. I had no idea we were going to do any of this. It's the perfect weather today. Yeah. Pretty sure there is a little sand speck on my sensor. So I'm sorry if there's a black dot following us around. This is it. 
you want to buy something. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's like so hard to believe where we are right now. Just transported in two hours to the middle of the desert. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Meat tuna. Okay. I'm gonna start the little bit of Diana. Thank you. We're done with lunch and we just had to buy one. had lunch at Small Tower and apparently the tour is continuing. I asked if we were going to camp now and he goes, oh no, no, we got lots more to see. So we'll probably not see the camp until daylight tomorrow. This is our Jeep tour. I think this is 30, no, 40 JD for, I don't know, two or three hours plus lunch. And then tomorrow is our camel tour. We are at Lauren's house. Uh -huh. Did he say what Lauren's house is exactly? What's the movie set? Oh. For Lawrence of Arabia. All right. I have no idea if this particular trail is on all trails, but if it is, you can bet I'm gonna check it off. Wish I could say I knew what movie this was uh, the set of, but I truly have no idea. Makes me wanna watch it though. Wow. What is life? This movie was filmed like 60 years ago or something. I'm gonna have to watch the movie to see what this looked like. That's what I said. Every time I smile, my mouth gets all dried out. So I'm like. I feel like we're several miles back and there are still little sections of camps. I feel like I'm on the set of a Star Wars movie. Yes. Zoom in. My eyes are watering. Woo! He's going fast. Wonder if we're gonna get some more tea at this stop. This stop is called Mushroom Rock for uh, obvious reasons. When you see a gift shop in the desert, you gotta go take a look at it. again. Was that our third time already in a matter of like three hours? Yeah. I could get used to this. Heck yeah. I drink it too fast though. When it's this big, I literally could gulp it in one go. Everyone else makes theirs last like 10 minutes. I'm a sipper. No. No, I, I chug anything and everything. I love how no one is in a rush to do anything. 
Oh no, sit, relax, have another cup of tea, hang out here for a little while, and then we'll move on. This is a relaxing and exciting tour, all at the same time. This is absolutely incredible. You're letting air out of the tire? Yeah. I thought we were each gonna have to grab a shovel, but we, we got it. We got this covered. Don't even worry about it. We're doing it. We're doing it. He immediately walks to a bush, snapped a twig, and I thought, oh, he must be upset. Nope. Popped it in his tire, let out some air, and here we go. <laughs> Think we're at our hiking spot. Lod just dropped us off and says, I'll meet you on the other side. We're just walking and we trust that he will be there when we get there. We're coming up to some camels. Oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> excited. These things are huge. I thought this was a weird question, and it still might be, but I asked our taxi driver if there are wild camels here, and there are not. So, these do belong to somebody. You love to come away. Okay, I could be here all night, but he's waiting for us. coming to the desert today, but all oh, this is not what I expected. But I'm totally here for it. I don't know if that's sturdy. Okay. I don't blame Awad for not wanting to do this. Oh. I think we're almost there. Really wasn't prepared for this. We would have died hiking Mount Olympus. <laughs> This would be the coolest job. Yeah. Just hang out with your friends. They all just meet up, have tea together, <laughs> chill, Take tourists around. sled down a sand hill. Like, come on. The worst part about it is dealing with tourists, but. After one month in Romania and one weekend in Athens, the most English we've heard and the most tourists we've seen has been right here in Wadi Rum, Jordan. Not what I expected. out of this sea. I'm so surprised that just happened. If I wasn't holding on or had my bag, honey, are you okay? That was so, you guys, like we bounced completely off these seats. <laughs> that was awesome. It's jumping. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt or you injured, buddy? Just hurt. We'll see how close I am to 30 tomorrow. See how much that hurts. Yeah. 
this is so romantical. Our day does not end with the sunset. We have not even had dinner yet and we haven't even seen our camp. I'm super excited to see what we're gonna eat for dinner. Yeah. I'm fully preparing for him to go over that bump again. He might not go that fast this time. One can only hope. <laughs> I don't think Nathan's butt could handle it. And you come come uh, to sit in the hospitality to d drink tea. Oh, okay. I will be there in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Home oh, sweet home. I promise you guys will get a much better look at this place in the morning, as will we. But it's time to have some dinner and some more tea. If anyone was wondering how we've gone to the bathroom today, the answer is we have not. Not once. So we call this food the zarb. It's before a long time, like very old tradition and how we cook the food here. So first we digging a hole and then we make the fire. After fire it will be like choco. And then we put in some like uh, kind of chicken with vegetables. And then we put it inside. So we cover it very carefully from the sand. And then we put the sand quick on this is the cover to keep the heat inside. So now when we get it outside, we will show you what we have inside and how we actually cook it. Depends sometimes, but it's still a long time, like two hour and a half or three hours. Depends sometimes we cook meat or chicken. But now we cook the... Now we cook like the, a chicken. This is between way how we cook the food, like this. I 